uh, that is the actual BIOS screen as you can see okay so there is an option you know not every single Dell does have this sort of uh, similar options to prevent any uh, you know assorted devices boot from assorted devices or different devices some of the BIOS does have it especially from uh, Phonix uh, secure core Tiano setup okay so this version always does have extra option I'm going to show you how to resolve it okay so two kinds of problem either you're going to see this message the one I already showed you earlier in the video second one let's say without this error message it doesn't boot up from any external devices even if you chosen let's say you chosen it i'm going to show you um the problem so this is the one windows 10 uh, bootable usb drive let's connect it here and let's say what about the settings is because this is not uefi only legacy one so let's turn it off and then turn it on again we're gonna keep pressing F2 just to get into temporary boot option, okay. I'm gonna leave the DVD drive open, okay. All right, so from here, if I choose the removable device, it's supposed to start up from this one because that's the only one. There is no any CD or anything. Let's say I remove it, okay. So now if I choose it, it should turn on or boot up from right here but there is a setting which one preventing anywhere that is the existence of windows corrupted windows which one i try to wipe out and reinstall the new system okay you're gonna see within a second okay so i'm gonna show you the reason behind it why it shows like that and what is the main reason that obstruct any external boot okay so fast I show you as you can see this is the existing ones now let's get to the point press and hold make sure you connect your usb drive which one you want to boot it from press and hold you're going to see the light would went off okay good press again come back to f2 just to get into boot option okay fine from here if you go to advanced you can see the USB emulation is enabled, which is fine. USB power share enabled. I want to keep everything from USB is open. Set operation AHCI, which is absolutely fine. And rest everything, leave it like that. Let's go to security now. If you go to security, we can check everything is fine here. No password. Then boot menu. You know, this is the boot priority option. Okay. As you can see, USB on the top, but still doesn't. So now finally let's sort this out so you're going to go to advanced option and then from here you're going to go to drop down menu at the bottom one which is miscellaneous devices which means like different devices or various devices or assorted devices that's the synonym of it so let's hit enter from here as you can see the external usb ports disabled E SATA ports disabled. So that means if that is disabled, even if you try with the bootable USB drive, it's going to show you in the system, but when you enter, it's, it's going to reject it. It's not going to start up from here. So what you need to do, we must need to make it enable. So hit enter, make it enable. E SATA also, let's make it enable anyway. So now, if you save the changes, and if you try to boot it up from here, it would work how press f10 say yes and keep pressing f tool okay all right so now as you can see the usb device is on the top hit enter okay. let's see which one it is Now we're going to see if it did work, then we're going to see the Windows setup page. Here we go. That's the one. As you can see, this is working. Now you know what you sh should do uh, next to it. It's very simple. Click next, next, next. Choose whatever you want to choose. If you need partition, do the partition. 
okay let's continue the video anyway just to show you a little bit further enter install now all right so i accept the terms and condition hit next custom i want to clear everything so i'm going to delete make sure if you have any important data you do backup first before you do that and then as you can see there is only one partition let's make it two so i'm going to make two hit enter okay and then make these spaces as new okay now i'm going to choose that one and hit next So that's how you resolve the boot option and boot issues for this model. Okay, let's double check the model. This is Inspiron. Okay, Inspiron N4110. Okay, N4110. That's the their laptop, quite old. So if you do have any uh, problem similar to that, make sure you follow this procedure. Hopefully, that will resolve your issue still if you do have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to show your support thank you so much guys i i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now